saw that, right? Let's rewind a few seconds. Well, 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 what do we have here? So the PlayStation Showcase happened this past Thursday, with multiple upcoming PS4 and PS5 games being shown off, some of which we already knew about, others we already knew was going to be announced at some point, simply due to how successful the previous entries have been, and there is even a few surprises that I'm sure nobody ever saw coming. But that's not really what I'm going to be discussing today. Instead, I want to focus on the opening Play Has No Limits trailer at the very start of the showcase. More specifically, this easter egg in the form of the Sly Cooper logo, which appears at the 58 second point in the video. Now, I didn't actually see this until a few hours after the showcase ended, when a user on Twitter, who goes by the name Jordan Swoford, informed me about this, and actually he found it thanks to another user, but either way, a huge shout out goes to him for letting me know. And judging from the response my tweet managed to generate over on Twitter, I'd say a lot of people actually missed this particular easter egg, and I can see why because it's only visible for a split second before going off screen. So you would have likely had to play this video back in slow motion in order to even see it, unlike all the other easter eggs that are scattered throughout the video, which are all really easy to see compared to Sly's. Why is that? As usual, my overthinking mind immediately went into overdrive, and I was instantly reminded of something similar happening to a certain bandicoot, Crash. So I guess I should give some context to this. You see, back in 2013, PlayStation Europe released an ad alongside the launch of the PS4 called This Is For The Players. The commercial itself features a bunch of PlayStation IPs appearing throughout it including Killzone, Infamous, Knack, and even Parappa the Rapper. But what exactly caught everyone's attention at the time this commercial dropped was this street sign that featured a silhouette of none other than Crash Bandicoot, which was pretty much a dead series at the time. This ultimately led to PlayStation making even more teases for the crazy marsupial's return in the years to follow, with everything leading up to the announcement of the Insane Trilogy in 2016, roughly three years after this commercial released. The same thing can be applied to Parappa the Rapper, another dormant series at the time. Parappa's easter egg was in the very same commercial. Three years later, they announced the remaster for PS4, which would then release in 2017. And the series is still pretty much dead. But we can't deny the fact that the first trailer for the Insane Trilogy dropped at the very same event the Parappa remaster was announced. Coincidence? I think not. On a similar note, during another PlayStation commercial, this time from late 2019, titled It's Time to Play, this one's pretty much the exact same thing as the last one, with a bunch of different series interacting with the real world, and of those series, we had Crash Bandicoot yet again. Only this time, he was accompanied with Aku Aku, Coco, Cortex, and a then unknown mask who we now know as Kapunawa, when Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time was announced roughly five to six months later. Which brings me back to this video with the Sly Cooper Easter egg. In this same video, we do have another Crash Bandicoot Easter egg, this time involving Wumpa League, which has yet to be revealed and did not show up at the showcase like we originally thought. It's been a rather confusing situation ever since, but I'm not going to get into that right now, so let's get back to Sly Cooper. With this new Blink and You'll Miss It Easter egg, and given PlayStation's reputation for hinting at games with these types of videos, could this mean Sly Cooper is about to make a comeback really soon, especially with the 20th anniversary being next year? Well, before seeing this, I was kinda on the fence about anything Sly Cooper ever getting revealed. Even with all the recent easter eggs and merchandise we've been getting in the past year, but realizing that this particular easter egg is not only the first of its kind for the series, at least in terms of modern day PlayStation centric videos like this, or the fact Sly is thrown in here with nothing but references to active IPs like Sonic the Hedgehog, Crash Bandicoot, Pac-Man, Horizon, Final Fantasy, 
Fall Guys, and Uncharted, which actually did appear during the showcase via the Legacy of Thieves collection for PS5 and PC. But rather, it's the deeper connections that can be made to what's happened in the past. Not as far back as Ancient Egypt, but you get my point. Sly's more likely to return now than ever before, especially since Sony has started taking more notice of the series in the past year or so. Now, does that mean the rumors we've been getting are any more credible than they already were? I don't know about going that far, but I will say this, if Sly Cooper 5 is in some form of development, like the rumors are saying, they could announce it at literally any time they want to. Just look at Insomniac's newly revealed Wolverine game. The project is in very early development for the PS5, and it doesn't have a release date like Marvel's Spider-Man 2 does, which by the way is coming exclusively to PS5 in 2023. But still, I wouldn't get your hopes too high about Sly coming back. Yes, it's really appreciated that Sony has acknowledged Sly in this way. I'm just a bit confused as to why this particular Easter egg wasn't made more obvious like all the other ones in the video. So if anything, if a Sly Cooper related reveal is actually going to happen soon to hype up the 20th anniversary, what better place to do so than at the Game Awards in December, or another state of play which they've managed to reveal new exclusives for in the past. Yes, I know, this PlayStation Showcase would have been the perfect place to make such an announcement, but it's done and over with, so we just have to look ahead. Anyways, guys, that's all I've really got to talk about for this video, but I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this in the comments section below, and if you want to stay up to date with everything Sly Cooper, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell, because as soon as something happens, if anything happens for our favorite thief, I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as possible. And once again, thank you all so much for watching and the constant support. I've been Blue Knight, and I'll see you guys back here next time.